What's up, Beatbox fam? It's KO here. And today we're going to be learning the tightened lip oscillation to throat bass combo. Oh, puppy dog. <laughs> yeah. So you guys know the deal. Hit that subscribe button if this tutorial brings you any value and smash that like button right down there, baby. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right, guys. Lip oscillation to throat bass tutorial. First things first, if you haven't seen my tightened lip oscillation tutorial, if you haven't watched my throat bass tutorial, this is a combo tutorial. So if you don't know both techniques, you're not gonna be able to do the combo. So go check both those out. They're both in my tutorials playlist. Go check them out. All right, so we're gonna take the tightened lip oscillation. And we're gonna combine it with the throat bass. Ah, oh, so we're going to take what I taught you in the throat bass tutorial and we're going to go and then we're going to combine it with the tightened lip oscillation. Make sure to hold out both notes so that you you gain strength in both of them. Make sure you're always supporting from the diaphragm, guys. So start off by doing each technique separately. Ah. Now pause. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Try not to waver at all with, with either technique. So if it's like, ah, 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 try to make it once like one long note. Ah, no wavers. Ah, you know, ah, pause, breathe. Not see the difference there. And then as you get more and more comfortable with each note, reduce the time in between. Ah, 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 until you can finally combine them. And then once you're able to combine them, then you can start, you know, changing the tones. But first, guys, I can't implore this enough. Please, please, please practice with one tone. Don't go diversifying into a whole bunch of until you're at least able to do one tone. See, like I still need to do practice. You know what I mean? And that's that's the next step, right? Is just going in between both of them. It takes a lot of diaphragm support, guys, to not breathe in between each of them. That's why I'm telling you, you know, breathe between each note beforehand. That way you're gaining more diaphragm support into each of the individual moves so that you're going to be accustomed to using your diaphragm once you move on to the step of. As I did in my cakewalk routine i did you know and it's it's like a you know you're switching tones it's different vowel shapes right remember when you do a different vowel shape it changes the tone of the throat bass see how the the note the tone of my lip oscillation stays the same but my throat bass is the one that's changing. So then once you have the try to try to, you know, change it up, do some different vowel shapes. Guys, if you've gained any value from this tutorial, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, drop them below. I always answer them. I'll catch you in the next video, guys.